Hello everyone from Math 70. It's beginning algebra. This is Professor Wenson again here with a video welcoming you to week two out of, out of eight for this winter 2022 semester. So hello there, Mr. Wenson here. Um, so right now I'm in the syllabus and in this video I'm just going to be going over what I recommend you cover and complete during week two of this course and you know I'm hoping that you stick to what I'm you know, keep up with what I'm recommending uh, that way you can maintain a good pace in the course and you know my hope is that you'll be done with everything at the end of week seven so that all you have to do in week eight is the final all right review for the final and take the final now, of course, you know, the, the pacing's up to you. If you decide to go slower than what I'm recommending, that's that's fine. It's just, you know, hope, hopefully you're finding time in the near future to play some catch-up. And, of course, if you're working ahead of what I've recommended, that's fantastic. Right? Get it done as soon as you can. That'd be great. All right, so in week two... And, you know, this is in the syllabus, so again, I highly recommend you, you know, keep coming back to the syllabus, referring to some important information. Uh, I recommend that you cover, you know, read the section, watch some videos, take notes, practice problems, and of course, do the Newton-Alta assignments for, right, those actually are part of your grade. Uh, for sections 2.6, 2.7, 3.1, 3.2 and 3.3. Now because you'll be, again if you're sticking to what I'm recommending, you'll be finishing chapter 2 this week, I would also recommend you complete the chapter 2 exam in Newton as well. And I've talked about exams in previous videos. Um, you know, all the exams are on whatever chapter's material, right? Obviously the chapter two exam is on chapter two material. And it's a fixed number of questions, so it's not like an assignment, right? Uh, and then you take an attempt, you know, work through it. It's untimed. You don't have to set up some sort of proctoring uh, software. Right? I don't have anything like that for you. It's untimed. You know, take, take, the, take your first attempt see how you do. It'll tell you what you got right, what you got wrong. You can look over it and see answer explanations afterwards and try to hopefully figure out why things were wrong and learn from your mistakes. And then you can try again. Um, you have up to 10 attempts. Uh, I'm trying to make this as easy as possible for you. You have up to 10 attempts at each exam. And your best score on any of those 10 attempts is what's going to show up in your grade book. All right. And if for some reason you, know, you come across a question where you entered the right answer, but it marked you wrong for some small reason, like you missed a, like your comma was off, missing, or a parentheses, or something, um, just let me know. Send me a message in the Canvas mail, email, Canvas inbox. And I can take a look at those problems and, and give you points back if I feel you deserve them. All right, and of course, I'll let you know. All right, let me just take a look at the pages again, refresh your memory if you didn't look at much in week one. So again, you go to the home page here, chapter two. My, and let me just show you what you'll see as a student. Go to student view here. Yeah, so there's the two six page, the two seven page. Uh, and then I, I just recently added this, and I'll be trying to keep up with you week to week. It might be later in the week, but um, there's a my, now a My Chapter 2 Newton Alta assignment videos. Uh, these are things, again, I just recently added. Um, and you may have noticed them in week one. Uh, so right now all I have are the two one. Now these are videos where I take you through a preview version of the Newton-Alta assignments. And uh, 
Now the questions I see may not be the questions that you see, but I'm just hoping these help you in some way as a guide through the Newton Alta assignments. Uh, I just have first week stuff up right now, videos for 2-1 through 2-5's homeworks. Um, so hopefully later in this week, week 2, I'll get through the, the chapter 2 stuff and also get an, I'll, I'll make one for chapter 3 as well to get through 3-1 through 3-3 like I'm recommending for you this week. But again, that's going to be later in the week. I do apologize for that. I, I just thought about doing this last week. <laughs> Uh, then you have your chapter review. Now the chapter review stuff is just a page from the textbook, the OpenStax textbook, and it's just the review page. There's no homework in it. It's just the review section with all like the key topics from each section you should probably know. You can read through that if you wish, but there's nothing assigned here. And then of course at the end of every chapter module there's the exam. Uh, again, just like the assignments, you have to get th to the exams through Canvas here. You can't do it at Newton's site for some reason. And then the Chapter 3 module, right? You got 3, 1, 3, 2, and 3, 3's page. Uh, and once again, like I said, after 3, 4, I will be adding sometime later this week Chapter 3 assignment videos. All right, be on, look on the lookout for those. All right, so I'll start in 2, 6 here. And I'm hoping you're getting familiar with the format of each page, each section page. You've got the title, objectives, and then the textbook. Now you have a link to the book as well. If you click on the link, it should take you to openstacks.org, their elementary algebra text, and that particular section. Or you can just read through it in Canvas, right? It is embedded in the Canvas page. Uh, then after that, you have videos. Now these are videos that other people have done. These are not mine. And again, you can try watching them here or click on them to watch them in YouTube. Now, obviously, I am not going to watch this here. I just want to show you that YouTube pops up. And you have the objective listed and some videos related to that objective. Objective and videos. Objective right, and videos. Uh, and then at the very bottom, you have, you know, the most important thing, the thing that's going to have a grade on it, is the homework. All right, where remember you click on this, it'll have you open it up in a new window, All right, and click on this, and then it'll open up in Newton, and you start working on the assignment. All right. Okay, um, and again, you can get through the to the assignments in the assignments area as well, that you don't have to go to these pages in the modules. You can just go to assignments and go to whatever, you know, whatever section, your number, whatever assignment number you're trying to work on. Uh, now, section 2.6, you know, doesn't have any parts. It's just one assignment for that section, so that's that's nice. All right, and then the next page in the chapter two module, section 2.7, same setup. Object, you know, title, objectives. You got the textbook here. A link to the book as well. Uh, videos, you know, when when they eventually pop up, related to the objectives. Again, these are videos by other people, people other than myself. And then at the very bottom, right, should be the links to the assignments. Uh, and it looks like section 2.7 has three assignments associated with it: part one, part two, part three. Please don't forget to do all of them. All right, and then after the last section of two chapter two here I have links to videos that I've been making for you again these are videos where I've been going through preview versions in in, in, in total for these um, new Nulta assignments and I'm just hoping that watching them helps you out when when you're working on them yourself but yeah so there's a lot of link just a lot of links here right and if any of these links don't work please let me know so I can fix things uh, but yeah, if you click on one of these, it should just take you to one of my videos in YouTube on that particular assignment. Right, obviously, again, I'm not I'm not watching them right now, just letting you know that they're available for you. Uh, and there should be also timestamps in the descriptions of these videos. You know, breaking up problem by problem, objective by objective. So again, I'm hoping that makes it easier for you to navigate. And you may notice at the bottom here it says more to come because I'm not done with chapter two yet. All right. All right. And then, like I said, the next page is the chapter two review. 
you can click on this link here it'll just open up the textbook or you can read it here and again it's just a review from that chapter from that book just key ideas from each section there is no assignment associated with the chapter reviews All right, and then the chapter 2 exam it's just like the Newton Alta assignments where they ask you to open it up in a new window so you go here and again you can go to assignments as well and open up the exam there as well if you wish open it up in an, open it up in Newton take your first attempt see how you did again it's not time not proctor just do the best you can with what you got and uh, you know you have up to, like I said up to 10 attempts at this and the best score on any of those 10 attempts is the score that will count here in your canvas gradebook all right, then uh, into chapter three, all right, this is section three one, and it's the same setup, title, objectives, book, videos, assignment. All right, and then same thing for three two, title, objectives, link to textbook, textbook in the page, videos, and at the bottom, the assignments. And then the same thing for 3.3. Three. Right. Title, objectives, book, videos, assignments. It's the same setup for all these pages. Okay, and that's, uh, that's it. That's all I have recommended for you this week. Again, if you want to work ahead, fantastic. If you fall behind, that's okay too. Just make sure you're catching up at some time in the near future. And, um, yeah, so... Hope you understand what I'm recommending of you this week, what I'm expecting of you this week. I hope you have a wonderful week, a very productive week, where I get lots of work done. Try to work on something related to this course each and every day to keep it fresh in your head. And of course, if you have any questions throughout the week, uh, send me a message in the Canvas inbox, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, don't forget to check my availability, though. Every every It should be from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., but you know, some days may things may come up but um, you know in my messages every morning you'll see my availability that day and uh, yeah hope you have a great week thank you very much for watching